Hi, I'm Don at UniqueParts.com. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you the benefits to upgrading the throttle linkage on the classic Volkswagen from 1967 to 1979. Now, here is a setup, the clutch pedal setup, that's out of that car. And this is the throttle linkage that goes on the car. And what I'm going to do is we're going to focus on the old setup, and then we're going to look at the new setup and the benefits of being able to upgrade to that. So let's focus in on this and we'll get into our discussion right now. What I have on this display are two pedal clusters out of a 67 to 79 and I've taken the brake and the clutch arms off so we can better focus on that linkage. Now these are the components that are used on the 67 and I want to just go in detail on those and uh, then we'll compare those with the new design. Now here is the accelerator lever here and uh, I want to show you, this is a used part and uh, the way it fits in is it fits into the pedal cluster like this and this is the pivot pin that's used and this is the back side here so this would be the side that goes up against the tunnel. So you can see it's a shortened pin, it doesn't go all the way through uh, but it does, it holds the arm in place like so. Now. I just want to take a look at this arm here. Now you can look at, you can see the built-in defect here because now this ball is sitting on the outside. So what happens is when the pressure is applied against this ball, you have the throttle return spring or the uh, throttle cable here with a return spring that's going to pull this arm back. Now if you look closer right here, you can see on this arm here or this lever that it has a shiny surface on one side here, then on the opposite side it has a shiny surface here. So what is happening here is when the pedal is applied, uh, and pushing down here, and the return of the cable, as I mentioned, is pulling it one side. It wants to twist this arm this way. Now, if you can look closely in here, when I twist this arm, it's going to pinch right inside against one of the supports on this side, and then it twists on the opposite side. So what you have is that you, you, what this is causing is this arm is sticking because now it's rubbing on, on each corner of these supports. So now let's put the pedal on. We just take a look at this flat pedal here. Now you look at this design here, this makes contact with this small roller and it has this curve in here. Uh, and let's just look at that a little closer. Now the pin would go from the, uh, pan, the tunnel side out this way to hold that lever in place and then this the original setup has a return spring here that causes this to lay flat onto the roller. Now over the years the exact location of this arm or the exact position of this ball has been slightly off because you can see what happens when this rail here makes contact with the roller. It's actually sitting on top of the roller. So when you step on the gas, it has to make a little hiccup to get going and you'll feel that on the car. So. That, like I say, that position's been lost. But if you look at this arm, now watch this pedal when I push down on that pedal, as you see the lever hardly even moves. But look at the amount of distance or movement of that pedal that has to be made before you actually get the throttle to move. Now when it comes down this far, now it moves the lever here all the way through. So, there's a couple of little areas right there that need to be improved, and now I'm going to show you the benefits of upgrading to the new. Now, this is the new speedball, and you can see the difference between the two. We have a the single arm, and now what we have is we have a twin lever here. Okay? It's been reinforced, it's welded together, and we supply also a longer pivot pin. As you can see, the, the two pivot pins here is we have the short one, and now ours is longer. And this is made out of stainless steel. So, if you look at the supports here, now the pin would go all the way through to the opposite side. So the benefit of this arm is right here, is that it is not going to twist inside these supports or, or have any pinching in here. 
So let's just put this on this arm here, on this side. And we can assemble both of these and we can see the benefits of both. Now, the benefit of this is that no matter how much pressure is pushed sideways, it's not going to pinch in here. Now, these two twin levers, they revolve around this pin and that makes it very, very smooth. Now, the pedal, the new pedal design, let me just put this back in right here so we can compare the both right here. You can see these. Now, the new pedal has a shoulder bolt right here. So the shoulder bolt goes in this side here, and the shoulder bolt becomes a shaft that this pedal revolves around. So we get rid of a lot of the sloppiness in the pedal here by doing that. So we put grease on this, on this shaft, of the shoulder bolt, and we it goes in just like this, and I have a nylon nylock nut that goes like that. So you just take an Allen wrench, like so. I turn this around, and I can show you, and you just snug this up. There we are. Now our flat pedal is installed. Also, there is a return spring right here, and it's painted yellow right here. Now that goes into this hole right here. So just take a needle nose pliers and put that in. And what that does, that keeps the flat pedal onto the roller. So now, when we press the pedal down, as we look at both of these, when you can just see the movement of the throttle. Remember, we just a minute ago we talked about the disadvantages of this rail here is that the throttle hardly moves and that there's a hiccup. Now, you just press down with your finger and you can see the free movement of this pedal. This is one of the nicest upgrades you're going to find anywhere for a classic Volkswagen. So when you put this pin in here, you want to go ahead, put some uh, glue, uh, some lube, some grease on that, and then there's also an uh, e-clip that is used right here on that pin. So we put that e-clip on. You see, that's the setup right there. Now I have another display that I want to show you. And that's showing this arm, and we did talk about the, uh, the weakness of the arm, and so hopefully you can see this, how bent it is out of shape. I painted it blue so it would stand out a little bit more. So when these arms bend like they do, what it does, it also bends the rail, or flat, rail on this flat pedal here, and you're not going to get full throttle. It makes a very sticky, sticky throttle. So this is the new design of the speed ball. As you can see, just take your finger and lightly press it, and uh, it, it's a very, very smooth accelerator. Now the factory came out with two pedal clusters. This is the; these are both used in those years from '67 to '79. And you will notice on this one, I painted it yellow. And the reason why that they put this on here is because that roller was bending. So this was a flat pedal stop. So to upgrade to the new design, as you see here, this just fits right in there perfectly. And there, the pedal just works great. But now this stop gets in the way right here. So as you can see here, so you won't let the pedal go down. So what you do is you just remove this, take a hacksaw, Cut it off here, or if you have a drama mill with a saw blade on it, some kind of device like that, it comes off real easy. And then just take the file or the drama mill and make sure that you have clearance to put on the new flat pedal. And that's the only modification that you have to make. Now, not all the pedal clusters have that tab on there, but yours may have it and it does have to be removed. Well, now that you've seen how easy it is to go ahead and install that speed ball, you can go ahead and assemble your pedal assembly back together and you're ready to put it back into the car. You can go to unique-parts.com and check out the rest of our products.